What's up everyone? So today we're going to give you a quick walkthrough and sort of a game plan of our 2022 uh, urban homestead slash garden uh, setup. So first off we have this raised bed back here. We also are going to be doing maybe another raised bed over here in this area or maybe a vertical garden. In this bed we have potatoes and onions. And then down here we got some cilantro and what's the other one? Rosemary. And then all along back here, we haven't quite decided if we want to go with just vertical gardens or if we want to do um, more raised beds down the, long, the fence line here. And then we have this patio set here. We actually just got to build this and we're going to build another one here. We still want to try to make it to where we can still entertain as well as the kids can still have a place to hang out and have fun. And then we're going to head over here. So this is the current chicken, or chicken, the current composting area. Um, the game plan is hopefully this week to move this and get this compost spread out in the garden for more planting. And then we got these ladies right here. Uh, we have, I think, nine chickens. Is it nine, babe? 10, we got 10 chickens. We had more, but um, when they were babies, a hawk got a bunch. Um, so this runs down all the way down the back side of this shed here. And then their nesting box is in there. Um, we might reconfigure this at some point uh, to make it a little bit more accessible and better. Um, and then I want to, just hasn't fully jumped on board, is make a greenhouse here where this hammock is. And then here we have our flower bed. We actually have a little morel right here. We, uh, we bought some compost, mushroom compost from Lowe's. Um, and that thing popped up, so it's kind of cool. We're leaving it and hopefully it'll spread and we'll get more morales next year. Um, we have lavender in here. Um, and then what other flowers do we have in here? Just two. This is kind of our science experiment. We have some lavender in here as well for pollination. And then we just threw a bunch of random seeds in there, a bunch of leafy greens. Um, so we just kind of threw those in there and kind of see if they do their own thing. And then we've got the main garden here. Stunning. We have our tomatoes with our marigolds. Uh, the idea there is companion planting. The marigolds keep the pests away. They also bring in uh, pollinators, uh, so that's good. Um, over here is kind of random. We have some beans, peas. We have lemongrass. That's also good for keeping pests away. Clearly not working. No, the dog keeps eating it. Pets like lemongrass, just so you know. Artichoke, we have bell peppers, jalapenos. Um, we had some starts in there that I started from inside. I don't have good luck with that, so I find planting in the ground um, is much more successful than starts indoors for some reason. That's just my experience. Over here we have cucumbers and I think more peas. And then we have melons um, and squash growing along the fence line there. And then strawberries in the back. We're gonna bring some compost in and then start some more rows here. I think our dirt's a little acidic, so we're having a hard time growing right now. Yeah, we, uh, last year, we ordered the wrong mulch. Um, and it's, what is it, the Barco mulch? Is that what it was? I think so. It was like the decorative mulch, and so it's like the, the yeah, it's like Douglas fir, so it's just super high in acidity, and it just um, doesn't feel good on your feet either. Um, Lots of splinters when we laid this down. So we were hoping that over the last year that broke down, we put some, uh, was it lime, limestone? Yeah, lime, yeah, yeah. It was like limestone. We put that down to kind of counteract the, uh, straw. the straw. And then we have this chain link here that's on this back fence that we're going to try to grow the berries and stuff up, I believe. Now we'll take you out to the front. That's actually where I plan on moving the composting area. That way it's kind of close to the garden as well as we're gonna extend the chicken run up until probably where that post is there maybe. Um, and then that way it's kind of more room for them as well as just kind of makes more sense for placement of things. And then we have this giant front lawn. Um, just grass right now. I don't know if we'll get to it this year. Um, hopefully we will. We wanna do a bunch of raised beds out here, fence it in, um, but just try to maximize as much as our space as we can here. I mean, this is, we probably can grow more food here than we can in our little garden area back there. Um, spans this way. I kind of want to get rid of this tree. Jess likes it for some reason, um, but 
adds a little bit of shade, I guess. But yeah, so we could do raised beds all up in here. Um, we could do along the fence line, all this. Uh, so that's kind of in the works. And then we have this empty lot over here. The city doesn't actually maintain this at all, um, but I try to do it. At least I don't do a very good job, um, but I kind of want to clear it out and then maybe do a, a little mini, um, like a dwarf fruit tree orchard here. Um, just have a bunch of fruit trees. And then do we have anything in this bed here? Yeah, and so then we have this other bed here that we put together from scraps. Um, you can wear my giant pile of trash and do a dump run. Oh, there's stuff coming up, eh? Oh, I put all that was radishes and beets, so. Yeah, so there might be radishes and beets in here. Um, we had, what was it, cauliflower? No, it was, it was cabbage. cabbage. Yeah, it was cabbage. It didn't do well. Um, it it just, seed. it went straight to seed. And um, this also was filled with that same Barco mulch, so that might be part of the reason. So, I mean, it might take take some time to fix our slight mistake. That is the game plan for 2022. Hopefully we can get a lot of that done here in the next few weeks. We have some nice weather here and we definitely need to get a bunch of stuff planted because it's uh, the end of May. So we're done with our freezes. Don't have much to worry about and just start growing.